Demonic Opening Ceremony at Paris Olympics Christians, wake up and defend your faith. As most of us have heard or witnessed, there was a gross mockery of the Last Supper, an event so central to our Christian faith, at the Paris Olympic Opening Ceremony. It was so demonic. What was France thinking? A country that gave us saints like St. Catherine of Siena, Vincent de Paul, and St. Francis of Assisi, now chose to mock the very essence of Christianity. As a Christian and Catholic, I am deeply saddened and concerned by the portrayal of the Last Supper in a manner that mocks our faith. The Last Supper is a sacred event in Christian history, symbolizing Jesus Christ's sacrifice and the establishment of the Holy Eucharist. It is a moment of profound reverence and spiritual significance for millions of believers worldwide. France, with its rich history deeply rooted in Christianity, decided that the right thing to do was to mock the Christian faith in such a public and flippant manner. Bishop Barron said, it made me question, would they ever dare to mock Islam in a similar way? Would they ever dream of presenting a scene from the Quran in such a grossly disrespectful manner? I think we all know the answer to that. This incident reveals that our deeply secular and postmodern society obviously views Jesus Christ's teachings and values as its enemy. But like Bishop Barron has said, Christians should not be sheepish. We need to stand up and make our voices heard. We need to resist and defend our faith with courage and conviction. And pray for God's intervention and for the deliverance of souls that are being led astray by these agents of Lucifer. Mocking such a pivotal event not only disrespects our faith, but plunges our society into deeper darkness if not checked. The fear of God is fundamental for the progress of any society. As it is written in Galatians 6-7, Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Taking God's name in vain and trivializing sacred symbols can have far-reaching impacts, not just on the faithful but on the moral fabric of society. In times like these, as Christians, let's stand together and uphold the values that define us. Let's be proud of our faith and never hesitate to speak out against injustice and disrespect. Thank you for watching, and God bless.